How's it going everyone? Zabby here and today we're going to be going to Mudwater River here in Fishing Planet. So first thing you're going to want to do is go and grab a one day advanced Missouri license. You can always um, buy an extra day if you need it. And we're going to be going and we're going to go catch. I know I have been here. I caught the largemouth bass, but we're going to go and catch all of these uh, Mudwater trial mission fishes. Uh, the panfish, uh, other than the catfish, but all the other panfish are kind of similar to what they were in the last episode so if you haven't seen that uh go check out where to catch them at lone star and it's in it's basically the exact same you put it on really really short lead and really small hooks you use the preferred baits and you will catch these panfish now it does take a while and it's frankly a little bit annoying to have to re-catch all these panfish if it's something you don't want to do then you don't have to but i just want to let you guys know you can do all of this with the preferred baits and it's really there's not much to it other than just fishing around and then eventually you're going to catch every single one. Um, but yeah, we're going to be catching all the bigger fish here. So I did buy a rod holder or an extra rod. So if you want to go to rod cases here and tools and equipment, you can go ahead and buy this. Depends on how much money you have. Uh, and I set up a, a whole new um, two setups here. So I got the value spin still, which is the one we bought from last video. I bought two of these Callisto XSR uh, 1400s. You're going to want to buy two of these because you're going to throw one on your float and you're going to throw one on here. Then you can go into the shop and you can grab the 1.8 kilogram uh, braid line, uh, which is about four pound test. So it's pretty solid. Uh, I also grabbed a 107 gram casting spoon. So that's a quarter ounce casting spoon to throw on here. And it will be optimal weight. Uh, you go to the float here and it's basically the same setup uh, you got the omni float which we still have from the last video we got the the other Callisto 1400 the same exact line we got a bobber you got a 1-0 hook and we got some small cut bait these are the baits i'm bringing i'm bringing some small cut bait bread dough balls pet food worms um but i'm mostly going to be targeting the catfish the pickerel the freshwater drum the bass stuff like that and if you have these two setups here, you can catch um, pretty much all of those uh, mudwater trial mission fish here. It just might take you a little bit, but these two rods, pretty good bang for your buck. If you don't have enough money for both setups, maybe just go with one and then work your way up. But again, the real money lies with going to Emerald as fast as possible with a keep net that makes allows you to make money there. You don't want to spend too much money going around to Rocky Lake, mudwater, and all these other smaller, like these, these other lakes, because you're not going to make a ton of money off of them. Really, the main goal is to get to uh, Emerald as fast as possible and farm the walleye. But let's head to Mudwater right now. All right, so when you load up into Mudwater River, you're going to want to go to Last Songs of Summer, this spawn right here. The other two are pretty good as well, this one especially. But this one is where you can go and you can catch a lot of fish. Now, I was keeping an eye on the time. I think we can go to 11 o'clock. Again, it might be different depending on what your uh, your day peak looks like. But if you guys want to catch some catfish, some pike, some bass, make some money, this is a really good spot to start off. And you'll be able to catch all of that stuff here. Let's close that lucky start pack. And I already have a marker set up for you guys. So this is where you can catch catfish. So if you want to just go ahead and throw out, uh, let's see how deep we can go here. I think we'll go to 150 centimeters. Uh, if I don't put the conversion in the video, just uh, Google the conversion rate. And literally, you're just going to throw it out by the marker. Everything past that marker is super, super deep. All right, so I fast forwarded to um, the start of the day peak here. And again, I'm just going to fish right past this marker. Farm a few catfish. Get some money up here because that's ultimately the main goal is we're trying to get to Emerald. So that way we can farm the walleye and make the bigger bucks. But you see here, we already got a fish on. So just, you know, wait for it to strike. It will strike. Even though the bobber's going a little bit nutty. There we go. And we will be pulling out a catfish. Well, there you go. $89 for a channel catfish. Uh, the younger ones sell for a little bit worse. They're like 50, 60, 70. But 89 bucks, and you can just keep sitting here farming them. And you will make some money doing this. Uh, let me just do one more cast here just to show you guys. It should um, honestly happen almost right away again. Uh, you don't want to go with too big a hook sizes here though. Just because you won't get enough bites. And again, you're not really here 
to farm money that much. Um, I've, I'm going to say this like four or five different times in the video, but you want to get to Emerald Lake as fast as possible because that's where you make the real money in this game uh, very early on. Rocky Lake's good for money too, but Emerald Lake is by far the best early game uh, spot to, to level up fast and to get money. But as you can see here, you're going to just pull in tons and tons of catfish here. So you just want to keep doing that. And I'll show you guys where to grab some pike from. All right, so I swapped over to my lure rod here. And in here, we're just going to kind of go over here. And we're going to be using our 7 gram quarter ounce um, casting spoon here with the 1-0 hook. And we will be doing stop and go. And over here, you will catch some pickerel and some bass. Uh, you can also use the float rod over here. You just have to shorten your leader quite a bit. And you can use it and just let it drift all the way down. Uh, that works as well. And you will catch fish like that. But I just find that using the uh, the casting spoon over here is probably the best bet in terms of uh, getting value for each fish and how quickly you get each fish on. We might even be able to go to... Yeah, we can even go down to two speed. I was doing three speed for there a little bit, but we can even go down two speed and just keep going and there we go we got a fish on already and you can see that we're reeling them in pretty easy so it's not going to be any, like any huge um fish here it looks like a bass and it is a bass so yeah there you go you can farm bass over there and just keep farming until you find some pickerel i will throw it in the video so you guys know you can catch them here and one other tip i wanted to give you guys um if you've ever done this or you've like accidentally done that and you look like an idiot and you get mad at yourself don't worry uh but if you want to use when you're when you're trying to cast you can also just hold down the, the the mouse button or the cast button and let it go like that and you will do a quicker cast uh it's something i forgot to show you at the beginning of last video but you can do a quicker cast that way and if you don't want to have to aim but again um it's really honestly preference if you're going for super speed then yeah you'll probably want to do that but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that you can do a quick cast like that and still get pretty effective range out of it. If you guys are having a little bit of trouble catching the pickerel over there on that side, you can come over to this spawn point over here on the right. You can just uh, come to this yellow kayak here and cast out towards these bushes that you were fishing near before. Uh, this can um, be a good spot for pickerel as well. And you can also just come down here and do the same um, a little bit over here. And that'll work too but yeah try any of these spots eventually you'll get the pickerel all right just wanted to let you guys know there's more than one spot obviously and this way if you guys uh get tired of fishing in the same spot you can swap it up a little bit all right i actually ended up catching the uh chain pickerel right over here i uh, just cast it out to about here and got them so again if you're having a little bit of trouble it could be over here and the grass pickerel will come eventually as well all right, so again, in the exact same spot, I caught the grass pickerel as the chain pickerel. Now we have to catch the bowfin and the freshwater drum. All right, if you guys are looking to catch the bowfin, set your leader length to about 200 centimeters. Um, that's about 78 inches. And what you're going to want to do is cast over here and just let it glide all the way down. And what that's going to do is the bowfin likes to live somewhere around here. You are going to get quite a few catfish doing this as well, maybe even some pike. But this ideally is where you want to catch the bowfin and then we will move on to the freshwater drum i will show you guys proof that i caught the bowfin here once i do catch it all right using the method that i just showed you guys i ended up catching a trophy bowfin pretty solid fish here it took me a while to get in um you guys just get a regular one it might be a little bit easier but again uh actually relatively quickly so just fish where i told you guys and you should be able to get them uh, now we're going to go over to where i caught the freshwater drum which was over here. Come down to this spawn right here. Swap out to your uh, lure rod and put on the uh, jig head and the shad. Now, this might take a while. You're gonna get some bass doing this too. But just uh, come to the left here, come to the rock and literally just cast out and you will get it all right guys so this actually went a lot quicker than i thought it was maybe my third or fourth cast and i ended up getting a trophy freshwater drum out of it um took me a little bit to reel in but again uh, a lot quicker than the first time i ever did this but there you go that's how you catch literally every single um important fish in uh, mud water river mud water lake whatever i guess it's mud water river but um just to show you guys a quick spot for the panfish, um, you can catch like all the panfish, like literally like right here, uh, back where the catfish marker was. 
Um, other than that, there's not much else to do here. You can keep farming here if you want. You can decide to either go to Rocky or see if you can upgrade your keep net. We're just going to go ahead and leave because I'm going to... I'm obviously not farming as long as you guys will be farming. But it, it will cost you a little bit to, you know, get built up and all that stuff. Um, let's just double check here. See what keep net we can actually afford. Because keep net is... You're going to need a pretty decent sized keep net before you go to emerald because when you go to emerald you're just going to be farming the walleye and you're going to make a crap ton of money where are they walleye there you go you're going to be farming these pretty consistently and the setup you need actually isn't too expensive which is the best part about it is once you get there and you make some money then it's just it's golden let's see what keep net we have unlocked we only have the 12 kilogram keep net which, I mean, isn't that great. Uh, that's, what, 24-ish pounds? Uh, what about Stringer? The Stringer's 10 kilograms. Once you get to level 10, though, 15, you could probably grab this uh, Fish Jail Extra Small here. Uh, you could grab uh, this one here, which is 15 kilograms, so that's about 30-ish pounds. And then, or this one at level 13, which is about 40 pounds. Um, keep net, you'll have to wait till longer, like 15 to get to. Once you get one of those keep nets, you could probably go straight to Emerald and just use a six pound um, setup with a narrow spoon. Uh, let me see if the narrow spoon's unlocked. This is the narrow spoon you're going to want to use at, uh, at Emerald. But uh, just because I don't want to keep you guys waiting for the next few weeks that's why i just wanted to let you guys know that if you want to make money level up and you can afford those bigger keep nets or you're higher level than i am currently you want to get to emerald and um fill up your keep net every single day with walleye um but the next video is going to be rocky uh here there's a lot of trout and stuff that we're going to fish um i'll show you guys how to catch uh, all these different trout here very very easy uh to farm there and the trout are really really lots of fun uh, but yeah, so next week, hopefully sometime Rocky Lake will be coming out. And then after that, it's going to be Emerald. And then I think I'm going to go up until the Everglades in this series. We're not going to do um, North Carolina here. We're just going to go from Emerald to the Everglades, I think is probably the best bet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember, I stream over on Twitch and we've been playing a lot of Fishing Planet. So if you have any questions, check the link down below in the description. Come to my Twitch um, and either me or someone else should be able to help you out. If there's anything else uh, you need to know, uh, feel free to either come by Twitch like I just said or put a comment down below. Make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.